Hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us today. And we're excited to have you and to be talking about our learning series. So in this first video, we're going to be talking about the basics of Excel. That's right. I, mean, I remember the first time I used Excel and I just kind of stared at it and it stared back at me and I didn't know what to do with it. So, but you know, once you get started, it's not too bad. Yeah, this video I think will be a good review for people who haven't used Excel in a long time or, you know, like 20 years ago. Or if you've never had the chance to use Excel, this will be um, real good learning. Yeah, so yeah, we'll go. And I, yeah, and I think even though there's challenges at first, don't give up because once you get it down, it really is helpful. Yeah, it is. So some of the stuff we'll go over is just, you know, what do you see when you first open up Excel? Where, where is everything? Where are the buttons that you want to click? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll talk a little bit about the rows and the columns and how you set those up and uh, using a header row to be able to label your data so you know what goes where and everything's clear. And then we're going to talk about, you know, how do you adjust the columns and the fonts and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's a great refresher. And if there's anything that you already know, you know, you could just skip, skip yeah. to the next topic. That's Sounds right. good. One of the things that I like the most about this option for data collection is the opportunity for tribes to be able to s select the exact kind of data that they would like to keep for their communities, um, whatever family um, relationships issues, if it's about placement or um, foster licensing, ICWA, mm -hmm. Indian Child Welfare Act. The, the Excel option uh, provides tribes with a possibility to record their own selected data outside the reporting requirements without investing a lot of money in, an auto, in, a, in a management system. Yeah, it's a great way to really learn how your data works and mm -hmm. what you want to collect. And so setting up that spreadsheet is a really, a really great learning experience. One thing we want to say also is that if you're using the partially set up template, um, you can take that one and still go through this, this video and learn how to move the rows around, move a column, hide a column, add to those columns with the, with the data that um, Patty was just mm -hmm. talking about that is specific to your agency. Mm -hmm. So should we get started? Sounds yeah. like a good way to start. Hello, this is Marnina Evans with the Capacity Building Center for Tribes, and thank you for sticking around for the technical portion of our first video. So this is the Excel Basic Refresher, and we're going to be talking to those of you who maybe have never used Excel before, or haven't used it a lot, or maybe not in a really long time, and just want a little bit of info about what this program is and the basics of how to use it. So let's start just by opening up Excel, see how you find it on your computer. Okay, so we're gonna go over down here to the little Windows button, how you open most of your programs probably. Uh, you can see I have Windows 10 here, but whatever version of Windows you have, you know, it's all pretty much the same. So scroll down through all the little things here until we find the Office. Um, so it may be Microsoft Office or MS Office, whatever it's called, it's where Word and Outlook and all of those programs live, PowerPoint, anything that's a Microsoft program. So here we have Excel. This is Excel 2016, as you can see, with a little green icon. Uh, you may have a newer version of Excel or an older version of Excel, uh, and it might look a little bit different, but you know, don't worry about that. All the basic functions are still going to be the same. They just like to rearrange things sometimes. Okay, so this is how it looks when you first open it up. Uh, it has some different tutorials and templates that you might want to take a look at at some point, but we're going to start with the blank workbook. So click on that, and here is a completely brand new shiny spreadsheet for you. Okay, so what are we looking at here? 
So up here at the top, we have the ribbons. And they have all the tools and interesting things that you might want to use uh, with formatting, with data. We'll get into a lot of that in later videos. Um, but in the meantime, if there's something that you want to do and you're not sure how, you know, poke around in some of these menus up here and you might find the perfect button that will do exactly what you want. So just below that is the formula bar. And this is where you can type whatever you want and it will appear to whatever cell you happen to be clicked on at the moment. And you can also do that by just clicking into the cell and start typing. Either way, the text will appear up here. I like looking at the formula bar just because to me it's a little easier to see everything that I'm typing, but you will use whatever is the most natural for you. So down here we have the spreadsheet grid, and this is where all of your data is going to go. Uh, the grid is made up of columns and rows. So you'll see here the columns go top to bottom, vertically on the sheet, and you'll see these little gray headers. Each column is labeled with a letter from A to, I don't even know how far it goes, many, many, many columns. So and the rows are all labeled with numbers and they go horizontally across the page side to side like this. Now in general, when we're talking about intake spreadsheets for your CPS cases, which is the example we're using for this series, we're going to list things by cases. So each case would be on its own row and the top row that's what we save for the headers. The headers are the labels for each column that are going to tell you what, what information is it that you're putting in that column about this case. Okay, so we start with our first little cell here. That's what we call these cells. And you'll see that each cell actually has its own name, its own unique name. And that name comes from the column and the row. So the letter of the column and then the number of the row. So we click in here and you can see it right here, right above it. This is cell A1. And we could click on another random cell over here. So here we see that is the O column and row 13. So that is cell O13 and so on and so forth. Every cell will have a name. Uh, now, this is going to be really important when we get to formulas later on. So, you know, just keep that in mind until then. Okay, so we have, we want to start our header row. And we could just double click or start typing. And what's one thing we might want to know? Okay, so let's say the name. Um, we could put age. And then we might want to put something about the type of abuse or neglect. Now, okay, so name and age, those are pretty short and simple, easy to understand. And that's really important for column headers because you want anybody who is reading this spreadsheet or using this spreadsheet, you know, you don't want any kind of questions or, you know, lack of clarity about what information is supposed to be in these columns because otherwise you're going to end up with kind of a mess or you're going to have people misinterpreting uh, the information or you know things like that so but we also want to keep things very so we want to be descriptive but we want to keep it very short so that it's easy to read and it doesn't make the column too unwieldy so if we want to say type of abuse or neglect you know we could abbreviate that uh, and say tan well Wait a minute. Does that make sense? Tan. Is anybody really going to understand that necessarily without you having to explain it to them? No, probably not. So we could also say, you know, type of reported abuse and or neglect. Oh, whoa. That's a really, really long one. Um, yeah, that's not really good. So one thing we could do is wrap the text. So this will put it into multiple lines like that. So it doesn't stretch across the cells, but that is still 
just really, really unwieldy. So what's a better way that we could say this? So we could say abuse or neglect type. Okay, so that's that's kind of a happy medium. So keep that in mind when you're putting in your column headers. Should be short but clear. Okay, so you'll see that each of these columns is the same width. That's how Excel starts off, and they're pretty narrow. And so something like name. You know, most names are not going to be short enough to fit into these uh, little spaces. And yeah, we could wrap the text, but that's, that gets hard to read, and it makes the spreadsheet kind of a wieldy after a while. So why don't we just widen the column instead? So if you want to widen the column, you go up to this little gray header, and you put your cursor right here on the right hand edge of it and you'll see the cursor here it's a downward arrow and here it becomes a little side to side arrow and then you hold you click your left mouse button hold it down and then just drag that over until it's the width that you want it to be so now we have lots of room to be able to type our name okay so we're just about done, but let me show you one more little trick that could be really handy for your header row. So, you know, assuming that you're going to have, let's see, we can see 22 rows on this spreadsheet. So assuming that you're going to have more cases than that, we might, well, you're going to have to scroll down. And when you scroll down, you can see, oh, we lose the header there. So one thing that you could do is freeze this header row so that it will stay on your screen when you're scrolling down so you can always see what your column headers are. So to do that, you go up to view, up here in the menu, switch to the view ribbon, and what we want to do is freeze the pane. So we go over here to this little icon here, freeze panes, we want to say freeze top row. So it says that keeps the top row visible while scrolling through the rest of the worksheet. So we do that, you'll see a little line kind of appears there. And now we can start scrolling and our headers stay right where we left them. Okay, so that is kind of a quick and dirty way of um, starting off your spreadsheet and getting to know Excel. So in our next video, we're gonna go into some more intermediate Excel skills and have a refresher on those. So I hope that you will join us and thank you so much. So what all, what did y'all think of that, the Excel basics video? That was a good way to get started. I really liked it. Good. Well, if you liked that, then you're going to love our next video, which will be intermediate skills. And we'll go a little bit further in learning a few cool tricks that you'll find pretty useful, I think. And building your spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. See so you we'll soon. See you there. Yeah. Thanks.